Man, you know Bidenomics is giving us all the shaft when you um, got Samson ready to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? And we finna get into it, y'all. But first, the intro. Yo, what is good, fam? Bam, it is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, we still got my man, my co host. You know what I'm saying? Beetlejuice hanging out with us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, checking out some Samson with us. And uh, yeah, showtime. And speaking of showtime, let's go ahead and get right into this one from Samson. This one being called Price Hike. Um, I did I did hear part of this. I know it's, I mean, obviously given what the caption here, it's about um, Joe Biden and his Bidenomics. In fact, let's read this quote right here right quick and we'll get right into the vidya. <clears throat> so, we're growing the economy from the middle out and bottom up, lowering costs for hardworking families and, and making smart investments in America. That's Bidenomics, man. Come on, man. Joe Biden, he didn't say the come on, man. I just add that in there for effect. But anyway, uh, so let's go ahead and get into Samson's price hike, y'all. Without further ado, like to hear here. <laughs> I made a little money off a of rap, but not enough to make me rich, yet I'm still backpacking. I made a little money off a of rap, but not enough to make me rich, I'm in the same tax bracket. I made a little money off a of rap, but not enough to make me rich, I mean it too. I, I gotta say, I like this intro. I like uh, how it kind of sounds like, like like a hook. I don't know if this is going to be a full-fledged song complete with a hook, but I do like the way my man is coming in, talking about, yo, I made a little money off a of rap, but it's not enough to, you know, get me out of a certain task. Uh, task. Uh, tax bracket there we go and uh, yeah it's not enough to really you know uh, keep me keep me afloat you know what I'm saying man still dealing with the struggle let's get back into this I just say that to say that I'm still down here in the real world feeling everything with you and I'm fucking pissed I got a big bone to pick with all these motherfucking activists all these rappers and actors and notable figures that act like they know how bad this shit is I Ah, man, that is straight hard facts right there. My man just came in with, yo, I'm tired of these so-called activists, all these celebrities, right? Thinking they know how it is when really they haven't a clue. Like uh, old Shil Shady himself when he said, yo, who can relate to a billionaire? I mean, gee, I don't know, M. Who can relate to Joe Biden, who's also a billionaire? And who can relate to you? who is a rap millionaire. Your ass hasn't known struggle since 1998 before uh, Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine put you on. And you've been living that charm life ever since. I'm just saying. Again, I'm going to pay you celebrities to tell us what your political views are, what your beliefs are. You know what I mean? I sure as hell don't pay y'all to tell me how to vote, who I should support. You know what I'm saying? I pay y'all to do a job, and that is to entertain me. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's with music, uh, movies, television, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm paying y'all for. Anyway. Oh, come on, Internet. Don't be doing I love being dirty. lectured and ridiculed about the fact that I don't have an electric vehicle. Tweeting about climate change from your private plane while I pay a Norman leg to get some fuel. Whoo, my man talking about the electric vehicles and what else? Uh, don't have a private plane? Climate change from your private plane while I pay a Norman leg. Yes. Talking about, yo, you talking about climate change from your little private plane, you're trying to lecture me about not owning a, an electric vehicle and everything. Bruh, bruh, let me wind that back. The plane while I pay a Norman leg to get some fuel. Thank God my car doesn't take. Yeah, look at that. Tell me, yo, get an electric vehicle. Y'all going, going on about the climate change from your private plane. You know what I mean? And meanwhile, I'm paying an arm and a leg for fuel. Yeah, gas prices be ridiculous, man. You know, it's around six bucks over here where I live. And down in Southern California, it's around seven, seven bucks a gallon. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Meanwhile, pe people in the rest of the country, they're paying less than that, man. They're paying what we used to pay out here in, in, in California. We used to pay 4 to $5 a gallon for gas. Now, folks out in the South, they get, they get to pay that. Man, must be nice. I mean, compared to where we live, I'm, I'm just saying, man. Premium, I'd have to get a second job just to break even. Then they cranked it up $3. Hey, that's some shit, man. Gotta get a second job just to break even. 
fucking job just to break even Then they cranked it up three dollars and brought it down two And I'm supposed to be happy and act like I'm proud of you And to add the injury, I got Kamala telling me I need to go electric And I have to act quick And all it's gonna cost me is fifty thousand dollars Well guess what, I don't have that bitch And even Right? Yo, you gotta go electric, buy an electric vehicle. Oh, it's only gonna cost you like 50K. Like, like, like that's nothing to them. And of course, that's nothing to them. It's nothing to these career corrupt politicians, these career corrupt celebrities right, that be supporting these career corrupt politicians. Yeah, that's easy for y'all to say because y'all can afford it. Us working class folks, we're not that blessed. We're not that fortunate. You know what I'm saying? We're paying an arm and a leg just to make rent. We're paying an arm and a leg just to keep our vehicles fueled so we can get to work and back. You know what I'm saying? Try putting yourself in our shoes. And then maybe, just maybe, you'll have a better understanding of what it is that we're going through. Maybe, just maybe, people like Eminem will understand what it really means to struggle. Bruh. Even if I did, I would buy a big truck just to rub it in your face because I don't give a fuck. I would put a big smokestack on the top of it and blow black smoke every time I open throttle it. And it's Ooh, I, I would do the same thing too. And speaking of big trucks, your boy did enter the Hodge Twins. Uh, Ram 2500 giveaway. Here's hoping and praying that I win. You know what I'm saying? Because what comes with that is also uh, a little bit of money. You know what I'm saying? That really can help your boy out. And uh, yeah, let's go. It's not because I hate the climate. It's because I don't trust you or the things you wish me to do. I would cut the floor out of the bottom of my car and start running like the Flintstones before I listen to you. <laughs> I love the Flintstone references. Yo, I'd rather drive in a car that'd be like the Flintstones. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Hey, at least you don't have to worry about feeling those. I'm just saying. I hate when people tell me they would rather not talk about it because they don't like to get political. I cannot afford supply shortages and high mortgages. It's not politics. All this shit is literal. That's my... Thank you. Thank you. All these passive-aggressive people that are like, yeah, I don't want to talk about politics. I don't want to get into all that. You know what I mean? Because, you know, yeah, I'm not into politics, you know, and... I, I'm gonna ignore the stuff because if I ignore the stuff, it doesn't affect me. Bullshit! Bullshit! You can act like the shit doesn't affect you all you want. You can not like politics all you want. Nobody likes politics. Let's get that clear. Nobody likes politics. We all hate politics. But what's going on in our climate, though, it affects all of us. High gas prices, whether you're into politics or not, doesn't matter. It affects you as well. Well, don't play yourself. All these high prices in the grocery stores, you know what I mean? And all in, in every retail store where they have supplies that, that we need for our everyday life, it affects you too. Stop playing yourself. Don't think that just because, you know, what, whether you, you, you act or not, shit, shit is not going to change for you. It does. We need every bit of help that we can get right now in order to turn things around. To, to get our gas prices down, to get our food prices down, to get cost of living down, so we can all have more af affordable living. It's not about politics, it's about reality and what's going on in our reality. Man, let's go. Money draining out of your bank account to make it work, to the point that it breaks you down and makes you hurt, paying insane amounts, taking out of your... My bad, y'all, I forgot to wind it back. Let me wind that back. You down it makes you hurt paying insane amounts taken out of your savings they promised that they were gonna save you how they made it worse we should be a flourishing nation not a country with soaring inflation there's nothing more infuriating than the fact that nobody takes blame for this poor demonstration like what facts we should be a thriving nation right we should be the, the kind of country that anyone that really wants to come in here and really wants to live here should be able to afford to live here but no these crooked Politicians are making it more difficult for us to, you know, get some, have some form of, of, of a living wage so we can, you know, have a more affordable way of life here. You know what I'm saying? They're making it more difficult by, you know, with, with this ever increasing in inflation that's going on in our country right now, you know, hiking up the prices on everything. On everything, just because they can afford it, thinking, oh, well, if we can afford it, then they must be able to afford it. No, it doesn't work that way. That's some that's some ass backwards thinking right right there. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. Let's go, Samson. The more infuriating than the fact that nobody takes blame for this poor demonstration, like and that too. And that too. And these these morons 
don't take accountability for the destruction that they're bringing into our country. You know what I mean? They're destroying our country and they refuse to take, they, they refuse to hold themselves accountable for it. And instead, they rather blame people like Trump and all of us who support Trump. They rather put, make, point the finger at us and say, yeah, these people are the problem and Trump is the problem. Trump is the reason and his supporters are the reason why everything is the way it is. No, it's not. Trump left these people with, 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 a, with a strong economy. We were going to be self-efficient, which would have made everything more, more affordable. But no, with Joe Biden coming in with all of his executive orders, counteracting all of Trump's executive orders, you know what I mean? He did this day one. Day one, when he first came into office, destroyed everything that, that, that Trump gave to give us a stronger economy, to make life here more affordable, much easier to live. Bruh, let's go. What? It just happened like that? Nothing to do with your administration. You blamed it on Putin and called it his price hike. The shit was going up way before the invasion. Oh, yep, that is also facts. How does that work? Really, I'm baffled. Sick of being treated like a stupid blind asshole. Next thing I know, I'm gonna turn on CNN and they'll be trying to tell everybody that Putin time traveled. Wouldn't put it past them. Crooked little rats so weaselly and spineless always look. Oh yeah, and CNN, yeah, they they they, they, be, they still be pushing their BS narrative and whatnot. You know what I'm saying, bro? And all their propaganda. Let's go. Looking for a snack, searching for the next reputation to tear apart and trash. When the views that you have and theirs aren't exact, they feed you bullshit and expect you to eat it. Then they read you bullshit and expect you to believe it. Like everything that you witness isn't for certain or real, and you're just supposed to forget all your personal experiences. Like all the money that you spent, you still have the shit you didn't really spend any of it. You just imagine it. All the cash that you wasted on behalf of this inflation didn't happen. It's just a figment of your imagination, and it's all gone. Mm. All right, y'all, so that was Samson with Price Hike. And, yo, definitely going to mash, if I can get to it, definitely going to mash a like on this one. And I can't believe it's saying I'm not subscribed. We're going to fix that right now. And we're going to turn all the notos on. <clears throat> because I am with my man Samson on this one. And if y'all are too, hey, y'all know what to do with that link for the original video. That'll be in the description down below. Don't forget to show uh, Samson some love. If you're not already, be sure to let him know that your boy GGV done sent you. I'm sure he would appreciate that, as would I. And yeah, man. Yo. It's time to wake up, people. It's time. Those of you who, who are so passive-aggressive, right, and think sitting on, on the sidelines is, is protecting you, yo, you need to get off your ass, and you need to help out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because, yo, we need all the help we can get right now to help turn things around. Because, yeah, the, the, the shit... I don't care what you you can try to convince yourself all your all you want. You know what I'm saying? Maybe sooner or later you, you'll you'll convince yourself. But uh, but yo, just because you're not into politics, just because you're sitting on sitting on the sidelines, not doing nothing. Believe it or not, that's actually hurting us more than it is helping, and it does affect you. One way or another, it does affect you. Okay, don't don't play yourself. If and if you're not doing anything, you and you have no ground to stand on when it comes to complaining about high food prices, high high gas prices, and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Because by not doing anything, you've casted your vote. You voted that you like the way things are. That's how you're voting by not doing nothing, by not saying anything, by being passive aggressive. You casted your vote. May as well just may as well be more. Um, uh, how can I say this? Um, this will be more more uh, assertive and more aggressive without the passiveness and help make us, you know, help it, help us make make a change, man. Help make life here easier. Help make life here more affordable. You know what I'm saying? Man, man. Because just going with the flow, it doesn't help. And it, and it hurts you too. You're hurting yourself along with the rest of us. I'm just saying. Anyways, y'all, let me get off my soapbox. And uh, just say like, yeah, appreciate all y'all who are supporting the channel. Appreciate everyone who's been buying the merch. Yeah, don't forget to check out the yeah, merch store. If you haven't already, I'd be very much appreciated. Buy some merch, man. Help support your boy, support the channel. And oh, I finally got my Rumble linked up. Uh, you can find the link for my Rumble in my in my bio tab. 
You can also find it in the description down below. So please follow your boy on Rumble. I do have uh, my two most recent uh, uploads on the channel right now. And this will probably be uh, transferred over there. Well, not transferred, but copied over there as well. So yeah. So don't forget to support the YouTube channel. You know, by doing all the things like commenting, of course, sharing, and of course, more importantly, above anything else, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Support your boy, support the channel, and also go follow me on Rumble as well. And uh, yeah, I think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. So y'all take care. Have a blessed one. I catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? I need to see you back on this one after the next week. We're going to be crazy. We're going to be sick with such a new day. Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you said it. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!